In this video, we're going to find a unit vector that has the same direction as the vector. The vector we have is the vector whose first component is six and its second component is negative two. Let's go ahead and carefully work through this solution. So to find a unit vector that has the same direction as this vector here, all we have to do is take this vector and divide it by its own magnitude. So step one is to find the magnitude of this vector. So we put the bar, and put the vector inside these bars like this, six common negative two. You can use a single bar or you can use a double bar. Different books do it different ways, different authors. So you can do a double bar if you prefer. And the formula is the square root of, and then you square each component. So you square the six, so we get six squared plus, and then you square the negative two. So we have negative two squared. 6 squared is equal to 36, so this is equal to the square root of 36 plus, and then negative 2 squared is 4. So we have 36 plus 4, that's equal to the square root of 40. We can simplify this a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that. The square root of 40, you can break it down as the square root of 4 times the square root of 10. And that's equal to two square root 10. So we have that the magnitude of our vector six comma negative two is equal to two square root of 10. This is the length of the vector. It's also called the norm. Now we're gonna take our vector and basically divide it by this. So our unit vector is going to be six over two root 10 comma, negative two over two root 10. You just divide each component by two root 10. You can simplify this. Let's go ahead and do that. This is equal to six over two is three. So we get three over root 10. And then here we have negative one over root 10. Now, a lot of people don't like it when you leave your answer like this. This is technically correct but we can do better, so we can rationalize. To do that, you'll multiply by the square root of 10 over the square root of 10, and then you do the same thing over here. Oh, I left a little bit of room there. I could fit these in. <laughs> three times the square root of 10 is just three times the square root of 10, so we have three square root of 10. The square root of 10 times the square root of 10 is just 10. And here we have negative root 10, then square root of 10 times square root of 10 is 10. And this would be a unit vector in the direction of our original vector, six comma negative two. You could check your answer by checking that this is a unit vector. So what does that mean? It means if you take the magnitude of this, you should get one. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and check our answer. Check. So the magnitude of this vector. So we have three root 10 over 10. And then here we have negative root 10 over 10. So this is equal to, the formula says you take the square root and then you just square each component. We have three root 10 over 10, and that's squared, plus, and here we have negative root 10 over 10, and that's also being squared. This is equal to, so we just square the three, so we get nine, and then when we square the square root of 10, we get 10. And on the bottom, we get 100. Plus, on this one, we square the negative root 10, we get 10. On the bottom, we get 100. This is equal to the square root of 90. 9 times 10 is 90. So you have 90 over 100 plus 10 over 100. So that's going to be 100 over 100 because you add the 90 and the 10. So we get 100 over 100, which is the square root of 1, which is just 1, so all is good. So it checks very nicely. So again, just a quick recap in case you encounter this problem because it's a very important problem. You probably will encounter it. The question was to find a unit vector that has the same direction as the given vector. Our given vector was 6, negative 2. You start by taking the magnitude 
and then you divide your vector by the, you divide each component by the magnitude. And when you do this, it's called normalizing. We've taken this vector and we've normalized it. We basically shrunk it, right? Because this vector had um, a magnitude of you know two negative ten. So maybe before the vector looks something like this, and then after we normalized it, now it looks you know like this. So now it has magnitude one, whereas here the magnitude was two root ten. Here the magnitude is one. So. This process is called normalization or normalizing the vector. Kind of an interesting problem. Hopefully this video has been helpful. And if you're curious, unit vectors are important because they make things easier. If you ever study multivariable calculus, there's a lot of formulas that involve magnitudes. And it's just much better when things are unit vectors because it's just easier to work with. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.